we routinely need to go into the cyclones either to clean them or to carry out maintenance and during the process we can have build up or the uh, refractory material that's inside there can become unsafe. Um, we've, we've, done, we've looked at different um, methods of making it safe inside for people to enter so that nothing falls on them and recently we came up with an idea to put some safety nets in which bolt up to the underside of the roof and stop any material being able to drop. It was a safety issue uh, to, to, for people to go in there because we were never 100% sure that uh, even with a visual inspection or even looking at the, uh, the roof um, that it was 100% safe. So we had to come up with a, a solution to make sure that people could enter there and we were happy that nothing could uh, fall or drop on anybody. So although we've never had any incidents here, there have been incidents in the industry where material has fallen off and it can drop, like I said, 10 metres. So these are the nets. They've made a huge difference to safety on site. Um, there's eight of them that we install in the cyclone. They're made of stainless steel wire um, and the benefit with these is that they can be installed without people having to go into the cyclone. So once they're in and we're happy, then we allow people to go in to carry out the maintenance duties. People who have to work inside this cyclone are reacting really well um, because there is potential for danger working in there. And I think that when they've seen that these are in, they're, uh, they're, a, lot, they're a lot more happier and feel a lot safer to go in to work in there. I think it has huge potential uh, throughout the industry. We're already using it at our three Hanson cement sites and um, I believe that our competitors are also using the netting system and I think that in the future this will be the norm for entry into cyclones.